sea monsters have surfaced for hundreds of years to terrorize humans. The most renowned of these sailors, led by the fabled Captain Crow, his first mate Sarah Sharp, and his adopted son Jacob Holland, were the crew of The Inevitable, which set sail to pursue the creatures across the ocean. They have the financial support of the King and Queen of the Crown, who founded the elite organization known as Three Bridges. Crow promises to appoint Jacob captain once they kill a female beast known as the Red Bluster that took his eye after nearly being killed during a hunt. The crew goes back to Three Bridges to get paid for their most recent catch, but the King and Queen inform them that they won't be needed for long since a military ship called the Imperator, captained by Admiral Hornigold, will take their place and continue sea monster hunting. The King and Queen agree to Jacob's suggestion, but they change it to a race between the Imperator and the Inevitability so that if they are successful, they can continue hunting monsters in their honor. Crow agrees to that. After they leave, the crew learns that Maisie Brumble, an orphan who had been motivated to do so by her deceased parents who perished in a hunt, has stowed aboard on the ship to join them. Sharp then temporarily keeps her. Later, the Inevitable tracks down the Red Bluster and attacks it. Jacob reluctantly permits Maisie to break a rope linking the ship and the bluster against Crow's orders, saving the crew but allowing the bluster to escape and tossing Jacob and Maisie into the water as the red bluster flees. Crow is furious and insists that Jacob bring Maisie to him right away before the bluster rises from the depths and consumes both Maisie and Jacob whole. Crow is holding both of them at gunpoint. Jacob and Maisie are taken by the bluster to a remote island where various other monsters live. After learning that the bluster is not malicious, Maisie gets to know her and gives her the name Red. Jacob refutes Maisie's assertion that the monsters are merely misunderstood creatures. A little creature she names Blue becomes another companion of hers. Jacob and Maisie persuade Red to take them to Rum Pepper Island after she saves them from a big crab monster so they can board a ship to head back to Three Bridges. Crow has a furious obsession over his desire to kill Red since he thinks Jacob is dead. He tracks down a retired shopkeeper by the name of Gwen Batterby, who offers Crow a lethal poison and a huge harpoon. Jacob and Maisie form a connection with Red and with one another while riding on his back. Jacob gradually learns to accept Maisie's view that the animals are harmless and gives up his hunting practices. The Imperator and Hornigold are stationed there when they arrive at Rum Pepper Island. When Red attacks the ship, it fires hail at the beast from its guns, injuring Maisie in one of them. Jacob momentarily stops the beast from killing Hornigold after she destroys the Imperator. Red rushes the inevitable when she spots it, but Crow saves her life by shooting her with the poison-tipped harpoon. Red is then sent to the crown as a trophy. As the inevitable approaches three bridges with Red in tow, Maisie is restored to health but then imprisoned in her room. Blue frees Maisie, and when she notices that the crown's insignia is prominently displayed in all the books about sea beasts and their hunters, she learns that the creatures were simply acting in self-defense and that the books are propaganda produced by the crown to prolong their rule. Before being stopped by Jacob, Crow is about to publicly execute Red in front of a sizable crowd of citizens. In the midst of Maisie and Sharp releasing Red from her shackles, Crow and Jacob engage in combat with Crow knocking Jacob into the river. Sharp is also starting to accept Maisie's theory about the monsters. Red is persuaded to spare Crow by Maisie and Jacob, who then reveal the crown's lies. The kingdom gives up its views on the creatures, including Crow, for good. Maisie, Blue, and Jacob start their new lives as a family after Red and the other sea monsters are left on their own.